Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. So today we have an Amovesh Kumar and he's from VIT channel and uh, he is an upcoming uh, intern at uh, Google. So we will be having a conversation and we will be having a much of a talk with him. So let's get started. So first of all, Mohesh, how are you? I'm fine. And how are you? Yeah, me too. Fine. So uh, Mohesh, uh, can you introduce yourself? Sure, sure. Yeah. So hello everyone. Uh, myself, Mohesh. I'm currently a third year undergraduate uh, student at VIT Chennai. Mm. And I'm an upcoming uh, software engineering intern at Google for the next summer. And nice. previously, I interned as an uh, SDD uh, intern at uh, Plusha. Mm. And uh, my hobbies are competitive programming, web development, uh, and so on. That's great. Uh, so first, uh, uh, we'll be talking about your, how was your journey? Means uh, from when uh, JW preparation to Google. So how uh, was your Google means a dream company or uh, how did you came to it? Yeah, so uh, like... Uh, uh, I didn't, uh, I, I, like, like everyone, I was also preparing for JE hmm. and in the lockdown, like, uh, I want to take a break and like explore my computer science interest. Hmm. So at that time, like I started doing a bit of web development hmm. and while doing the, like I, uh, came across, uh, the term uh, of competitive programming in uh, YouTube. Hmm. So, uh, then I got interested in that and then uh, slowly, uh, like as the, uh, college reopening started hmm. I slowly uh, started to shift from web development to uh, competitive programming hmm. and after that like I pretty much uh, I was only doing uh, competitive programming for the like whole first two years of my college hmm. and uh, regarding Google yeah like uh, I think uh, Google is a dream company for like many people so yeah, it was one of the, one of my dream companies I'll say hmm. and uh, yeah so that was the uh, uh, things which, which I was doing in uh, my first two years and apart from that i also did a bit of web development like in uh, uh, whenever i get a, a holiday like 10 days uh, mm. two weeks holidays i'll explore things like app development web development and i found web development to be my uh, interest so, so that's pretty much it. yeah that's good so since uh, you started up uh, programming from my schooling days only i guess yeah actually i had a uh, c++ in my class 11 and mm. python in my class 12 so mm. Uh, I knew those uh, basics of programming, yeah. but uh, only after college started, like in the lockdown, from the lockdown mm -hmm. and uh, in those days only, I uh, properly started doing uh, web development and competitive program. Mm -hmm. So means uh, your lockdown was an golden opportunity for you. Like you started yes. uh, programming and uh, learning DS and all those kind of stuff. So from yes, that yes, you yes, got yes. a kickstart that uh, I need to know and I can do it easily. Yes. yes. Okay, that's great. So. Then, uh, means, uh, uh, first year you did a computer programming and second year you did computer programming. Then, uh, uh, mm -hmm. what projects, what all kind of projects you have been made in these two years? So, uh, I uh, mostly did a web development based uh, project mm -hmm. and I like building like uh, front end uh, front end web applications in React mm -hmm. and uh, mostly in one stack only, full stack applications. Yeah. And apart from that, I have tried app development for some time and AML as well. But my primary interest uh, and the most amount of projects I have done are mostly based on web development only. Mm -hmm. So I have made few uh, apps like a uh, few utility apps like uh, Chrome uh, web extension mm -hmm. and a uh, uh, command line tool. Uh, and I have also made some full stack apps. Okay, yeah. that's great. And uh, means, uh, what we can say, then how uh, means uh, you got into the Google, so it was an uh, on-campus opportunity or from you got an off-campus opportunity? Yeah, so uh, uh, what happened was uh, mm. in the second year summer, after the second year summer started, mm. uh, the on-campus uh, internship drive started and mm. the first company which came uh, to v uh, VAT was uh, Google mm. and Google and Deesha, they came together like uh, one or two days uh, different. And uh, we had a OA like in uh, seven to ten uh, in a span of seven to ten days after the after they came for application, and then uh, the uh, online assessment happened on July 9th. Hmm. and after that uh, on July eighteenth uh, college started, and then after about like forty days uh, we got the result of online assessment, hmm. and around twenty five people were uh, selected and uh, like. Uh, so that's how it started. It was yeah. an on-campus shop. Uh, yeah, and I mean, so for after completing a uh, coding round, then it was a long duration gap. Like, uh, you must be yes. that uh, I would be made into it or not. Or not. So, and, uh, so it was uh, such a long period. Yeah, 
yeah. It was very long period, so I actually thought like I was uh, asking many people on mm. different social media platforms like uh, what was their status, and but mostly uh, like uh, no no other uh, one uh, no one got an update. So mm. uh, I didn't uh, like I knew uh, I performed well, so I had a confidence. But still, the duration was very long. So like uh, I was participating in other companies. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, process also, yeah. mm-hmm. so how was an coding questions so it was an easy medium hard or uh, difficult what would you be reading on yeah one problem was no medium problem and the mm-hmm. other one was a hard problem mm-hmm. we had two problems to solve and mm-hmm. in 16 minutes okay and uh, for means uh, cracking on google so what do you require in the cp or uh, just uh, um, brushing up with the dsa and then dp and back tracking would be done or uh, basic level of dp would be required of what you think so this is uh, like since i have done mostly competitive programming this so my opinion will be a bit biased hmm. but i uh, like felt like uh, cp really help hmm. uh, the way uh, i uh, i tackle the problems in the interviews and uh, i was able to quickly come up with the solutions so in hmm. those areas cp help but even uh, if i had done lead code properly like uh, really understood the solution even then i think uh, like it would have helped So mm-hmm. either CP or lead code, but whatever uh, we do, we have to do it perfectly. So that's the only thing I would say. Yeah, and uh, your practice was only such a great that uh, you made it easily. Yeah, and uh, now coming to the various that is a hackathon. So uh, since I went to your LinkedIn profile, and yeah, uh, you have been uh, participating mm-hmm. much of a uh, hackathon and a uh, competition. So how you got interested into it? Yeah, so so basically, my first hackathon was conducted. Uh, here in V8 Chennai only. It mm-hmm. was an offline hackathon. Mm-hmm. So like uh, I didn't participate many hackathons in my first two years. So I I wanted to participate in it. Mm-hmm. So I made a team and then I participated in it for for the first time. It was a like a really good learning experience because it was an offline hackathon, mm-hmm. and uh, we got the fourth place. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was really a good learning experience. I learned new things, uh, met new people. Mm-hmm. So uh, like I feel hackathons are like uh they are more helpful in networking as well apart from like uh, uh learning technical skills mm-hmm. yeah so this game and uh, means uh, what would be your suggestion to means uh, first year students that uh, how they need to prepare for coding means uh, how they should be starting on it means uh, what would be ideal roadmap can you suggest yeah so so basically the first year is for for you to explore what all things you like Mm. uh if you want to become a software engineer so there are a lot of fields in software engineering and you uh, explore uh, each and everything like in most of the colleges there will be webinars uh, going around basically t- uh, targeting to the first year students mm. so you, you participate in some of them and explore and see if if anything interests you or not mm. and side by side you should learn a, a programming language and become a master of it and you can choose any language yeah and then um uh after you choose a field and then like for example web development or something and then uh, slowly you can uh like spend some time on it like weekends or from 3 to 4 hours on weekend mm. like that but uh if you like if you're preparing if you want to uh, like uh, get into a product based company or a uh, or a startup so product based companies obviously uh, you need to do uh, data structures and algorithms so mm. so i would recommend starting right away from the first semester itself so uh, parallelly learn programming language uh, learn dsa so if you if you uh, if you are in first semester i will recommend uh, i'll strongly recommend trying competitive programming maybe mm-hmm. even if you don't like it just give it a try and see like how it is just for one semester or two semesters because it usually takes some time and then parallelly learn dsa as well because mm-hmm. in in cp we don't uh, learn some of the topics like linked list binary tree so should learn dsa simultaneously uh, become good at one program language hmm. and explore a bit of development so, so these are the things a first year sh- uh, student should do okay and from second year they can uh, start building on projects and now uh, build their resume well yes okay. yes yeah so because uh, basically the internship drive will start at the end of second year right so hmm. for that you should uh, bil- keep on building your resume you should participate in more contests and get good ranks and uh, as i said participate in hackathons as well uh, mm. pro- build good projects and simultaneously like if you are if you like cp and if you are if you have been doing it for the past one year you can continue it you can learn more advanced topics you can improve your skill 
and also uh, they can start with lead code as well because hmm. uh, that's the uh, primary source for interview preparation oh okay. yeah and now uh, what resources uh, did you follow for the preparation of uh, this computer programming means uh, did you do kind of paid courses or uh, free resources did you so what were your resources that uh, you learn from it yeah so uh, my learning is mostly through youtube and uh, blog articles so hmm. i didn't take any paid course Uh, as per, but hmm. uh, some of the popular channels like I re- uh, referred are uh, like there is a channel called Code and Code Aditya Verma, hmm. and there are a uh, few playlists on uh, uh, Free Code Camp as well. My Code hmm. School, My Code School. So there are a lot of uh, quality videos on hmm. YouTube. So for learning purposes, you can use them. For practicing websites like Code Forces, uh, Lead Code, Code Chef, Ad Coder, uh, they hmm. are really good. Hmm. But uh, when uh, which channel uh, you said that uh, YouTube uh, would be best like uh, from this all channel uh, one wanted to start basically so which channel you should be going through? Uh, so for DSA and CP there is no single channel which contains like all the resources right so you have mm-hmm. to refer multiple things to learn from different topics even if you are if you don't understand a certain topic from a channel you have to like watch multiple videos to understand it mm-hmm. but for a beginner if you if you want to start in uh, competitive programming. Uh, specifically in competitive programming, I will recommend Code and Code only because I started with that, hmm. and then slowly I uh, referred other channels as well for DSA and uh, other top. Okay, so yeah, so one can start from Code and Code, then uh, they can move on to different different web- uh, YouTube channel yeah. and get it. Yeah, uh, you also uh, had participated in uh, many of our contests such as a uh, uh, Google Kickstarter, then uh, Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. So how yeah, was your experience? I even forgot to uh, mention that, like uh, apart from participating in uh, uh, contests from websites like Code Forces and uh, Code Chef, you, you should also participate in like famous co- uh, competitions like Google Kickstart, Code Jam, Facebook Hacker Club. So these are the competitions uh, conducted by uh, those companies. So like if you uh, perform like really well and get a good rank, uh, it adds uh, value to your resume. So that will be great. So you know, if you perform well in this contest, then uh, will uh, you would be get an uh, opportunity direct from Google to for internship or uh, not? Uh, like uh, previously, uh, it was a uh, it was like that, I guess. Hmm. Like if you get a better rank in like if you get a good rank in uh, Kickstart, like hmm. uh, under hundred hundred or under two hundred, like uh, people usually get a call. But um, uh, I don't know like how true that is, but yeah, it's a very common belief. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Okay, and uh, now means uh, going to this. Uh, how was your means uh, interview rounds about Google? Yeah, so for Google, uh, they were like a really uh, smooth interview process. We just mm. had two uh, technical rounds, mm. both were DSA, and we had to solve uh, uh, two problems in each rounds. Mm. And the problems will be like you will be given an initial problem and then a follow up. Mm. So if you successfully solve the initial problem, uh, you will have to solve the follow up, and uh, hopefully code both the approaches. Hmm. But usually the follow-up will be a variation of the first problem only, so you won't have to like code two separate uh, problem solutions altogether. So you'll just be making a change in hmm. the first code you coded. So this like that, and both rounds were like basically the same, hmm. and they were eliminatory. So uh, people who uh, got eliminated in the first round they cannot like uh, proceed to the second round. So just like that, and up, and among the twenty-five people, uh, five people were shortlisted for the second round. Hmm. And uh, among the uh, five people, uh, two people got. Them. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, and uh, means uh, like uh, projects also add an important value to your resume. So means uh, one should be building uh, many projects or two or three projects are enough. Or uh, uh, if uh, there is a one or two good project, then also it will be able. Yeah. So I I think the standard practice is to have uh, three good projects. Hmm. That's what I have been uh, like uh, said to by many seniors. Uh, whom I asked, hmm. three good projects uh, which you uh, which uh, which you should be uh, really well uh, aware of how you have written and all those things. So hmm. three good projects will be enough, I guess. Not more than uh, if you are interested, you can build. But in resume, I don't think uh, you'll have more space to put hmm. uh, many projects like five or six projects. So three projects will be okay. Yeah, and uh, means uh, now uh, can you suggest uh, one that uh, if uh, from a third year. Uh, one is a starting preparation, and a uh, first two years he just did a basic programming and a basic DSA. Then what you would be suggesting that uh, he can crack into a uh, Google? Okay, so in third year, like you have just a few months before placements, right? So you have yeah. to be very strategic now. 
But I'll suggest uh, sticking with lead code now because yeah. starting competitive programming uh, might not be a good idea. But if you are interested, you can start. Or else, if your aim is just to uh, clear interviews, maybe uh, sticking with lead code will be a good strategy. Mm. And along with that, like uh, nowadays there are a lot of uh, DSA sheets out there. Yeah. Yeah. So once you uh, like become a bit comfortable in lead code, you can explore uh, any DSA sheet. Uh, mm. That will be better. Before interviews, you can. uh do a uh, dsa sheet and it will be a revision for you mm mm-hmm. yeah so means in lead code uh, you need to uh, practice like topic wise or uh, randomly picking up any questions and uh, start solving so what would you suggest okay so initially in order to like recognize those patterns and uh, understand like each concept properly you should solve at least like 10 20 uh, problems in each topic mm-hmm. and then after that uh, you should solve random like uh, random solving because mm-hmm. you won't know what topic each problem belongs to they won't explicitly say okay this problem you should solve it using dynamic programming or something mm-hmm. so after uh, first you should uh, first you can uh, try uh, topic wise solving and then once you get a bit comfortable you can try uh, random solving mm mm-hmm. that's clear yeah and uh, what would be a suggestion uh, how many questions uh, one should be solved like uh, 400 200 300 or else it depend on the time duration uh like uh, instead of like focusing too much of the uh, like count of questions you should mm-hmm. like focus more on uh, what quality of questions you are doing because mm-hmm. like someone can learn uh, like learn some topic from five questions whereas the other person can learn the same topic in like 10 or 20 problems right so it really depends upon the person so mm-hmm. if someone doesn't understand a topic like really well or he is weak in some topic he has to do more problems on the topic mm-hmm. but overall uh, i will say uh your ratio of solve count should be like one easy two medium and mm. uh, like one hard in that mm. way it should be instead of focusing on the whole number so however much you do you should maintain this ratio in order to like keep balance mm-hmm. and uh, how if uh, you would not able to crack into google then uh, what would be your next company or what would be you must be doing um like i would have been still participating in the on campus internship drive i guess mm. and trying uh, all other companies which are coming mm. mm-hmm. uh, okay. that that will be my strategy mm-hmm. yeah and uh, what would be your final advice to our audience uh, what you would be like to do yeah uh, i will say like what are you trying to do just be consistent and practice it, like every day don't give up like it will take some time to master anything so Mm. Don't just give up and be more consistent. Yeah, so one should be a consistently practicing, seeing up, like yes. day to day. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. So thanks, Amwesh, for coming here and uh, sharing your valuable, well, information. So thanks. Yeah, thanks for giving me the opportunity.